kind of like that. I'm not going to have to tape the top. I am going to tape that bottom. How far down is it going? Is it shaking? It is not shaking. I think I'm just going to tape it. Oh, just the way it is. Make sure you get this on there nice and good here. I've had problems getting them to come apart after doing this number to them. And I'm definitely the type of guy that likes an all black stick. Let's not forget, this one's for me, so I can go walking. Ah, let's see what this last one's like here. Put it in there. Ooh, that thing's as tall as I am. Nice. Oh, wow, that thing's tough. Oh, I'm going to take it. I also believe that this would make a very good at lateral spear. And up here at the top, it's got a divot, and you can make it bigger. You can make an at lateral handle to throw this at lateral spear. And it'd be one of the toughest on the planet, I think. I think there's definitely ways we can do the tip to where the tip will come off the arrow instead of the animal breaking it off up against a tree. Yeah? I'm sure there's multiple ways we can do that oh but i like that that's a tough stick right there time for a knot let's do it give me a black one here we'll find the middle i'm gonna keep the white in there this time Do -do -do. I really like these sticks. I really hope everybody gets a kick out of making them and having them. I, I really think they're probably one of the best survival weapons you can have. I mean, I've definitely seen the old hunter gatherers just live off a handful of sticks. You know, they that's what they carried around from what I could tell. They just, a lot of those guys just swatted at insects with little twigs and switches and whatnot. Definitely heard them call the grasshoppers the shrimp of the desert. I've never had one, but definitely seen people go for it. They turn pink like shrimp. And they just swat at them. They don't get all upset trying to catch them all. They just, whenever they see one or two of them they can swat at, they do that. Before you know, they got a whole bag full of them. All kinds of insects. I watched this one video one time where these kids were uh, chasing and eating these tarantulas and they were like, they cooked them up and they were chewing on them like candy bars. I was like, that's what's up. Personally, I don't eat animals, but you know, I don't hack people that do. I would never do something like that. That's a nice knot. I hope I can make it kind of to the end here. Doesn't matter if I don't. I don't need it to be perfect. One more knot here. I think this is going to be the last one. It's starting to look like I might not make it all the way to the. That's okay. Get my, my scissors and my lighter here. We'll make me a cut. I'll try to leave some on there so I can actually have some to. Hit with the lighter and melt it. I mean, I don't know what anybody would charge for a stick like this. I mean, I get 20 bucks for a big one like this. I get 10 bucks for the smaller one. I think I do that only because I don't want to see everybody rolling around with the big ones. I make a lot more of the smaller ones than I do these big ones. And these big ones definitely look more like a, a weapon from a distance. 
And I can see how sometimes you don't want to look like you have a weapon. There's one. I'm going to get the second one in some kind of time that fashion here. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh. Well, if you all have made it through uh, all these shows with me, man, I really appreciate it. I really like doing this kind of thing. I highly recommend, uh, if you enjoy doing something, to get on with it. And I've noticed that with this world, it, it tends to be like, uh, if you can think of it, it's most likely out there somewhere. And if you're looking for it, it's probably looking for you. And you know, you got to be careful. It ain't all good. It ain't nothing all good. It's just as much bad as there is good. And I hit the good side. It seems like a good thing. And I can't fight. It is good. Good is good. But it seems like in my life, the more I resist something, the more it persists. And if I take the side of good, it's like I resist the bad. And the more thing I resist things in this world, the more they seem to persist. So be careful, you know. Oh, try not to bite off more than you can chew. Lord knows I've done that many times. Almost got this stick built here. I like this one. I'm going to walk, use this one here around the neighborhood when I go walking. Knowing me, I'll probably end up giving it to somebody. I always do stuff like that. They do, they make awesome gifts. And I sure hope that uh, you all take advantage. I mean, I can just imagine that scene in uh, The Walking Dead where they're stabbing the zombies through the fence. Something like this could be really good. I mean, I probably wouldn't put this hook on the end of it. I'd probably make it look as bullet-like as possible so they can't get a hold 